Welcome to part 26 of my Black Widow Mods videos. I have now just stripped the wire from the end stop from the Duet Wi Fi just to do a simple check. And according to the document here, there is supposed to be 24 volts. Well, my, since my setup is 24 volts, there's supposed to be 24 volts between the brown and the blue wire as here. But I'm not going to be able to show you this on camera because, well, yeah, my one of my hands is uh, occupied. But yeah, when I measure these, I see like 15 millivolts. So there is definitely something weird going on. So based on what I measured and talked about a second ago, well, since the other sensor in here seems to work just fine, there really can be only one reason why this isn't working. There is something that. There is something in the wire that's not connected properly from the 24 volt inside the control box to the cable that I attached to and yeah that basically means to me that there's something somewhere some solder connection that went wrong or either that or the Molex KK connectors that I use inside the control box there might be a problem there as well but I feel like this is that's less likely because they are proper connectors it more like feels like some solder connection got loose somewhere so I'll try to figure it out and nope it's not the one on the connector here so it's either in the control boxes back panel or as I said the Molex KK connectors now that theory is gone too unfortunately I yeah I'm, I'm basically an idiot when, I, when it comes to electronics but as you well maybe the multimeter shut down I don't know it, uh, it's in beep mode basically the capacitance mode and it's beeping on all three connectors so yeah it's again at the point where I have no idea I'm going to do my measurements from here just in case there is a difference but yeah the fact that this thing beeps and it doesn't really beep, beep if there is a decent enough resistance so it's not like there is a kilo ohms range of resistance on the wire and it's dropping voltage it wouldn't beep so yeah there is something definitely else going on and yeah me being an idiot it's going to take ages to figure out even though it's a five minute fix probably and just to be sure i removed this adapter cable that i made some time ago Someone didn't know this cable existed, so accelerate. I think your name was. Yeah, this is basically the adapter that I made. These go to the end stop connectors on the duet, and these have the diodes in here. And this is just a 24 volt supply that I'm grabbing for from the duet Wi Fi's fan output. And yes, I did check it's 24 volts. And after that, I just decided to just to check if the solder joint in. Uh, not here yeah here the solder joint in here if, if if that's good or not i decided to check them and i beeped these out and yeah they're within a few ohms basically they are properly done so there's nothing wrong with this cable either if i'm think about it properly i think the problem is still within the wiring somewhere in the control box because the y sensor was working just fine so yeah, there really cannot be anything wrong with the 24 volt supply or the diodes and I did check the adapter cable thoroughly as I showed you one in one of those clips so yeah there isn't anything wrong there either so the only thing that is still possible is there's something wrong within the cabling inside the control box or outside the control box right where the connector attaches rest of the cable I tried replacing I didn't replace the connector inside the control box, the male connector there, and the female, co sorry, the, the, yeah, the female connector from the, the part that attaches to the back side of the control box, the aviation connectors, so maybe it's not touching properly. I know I also checked the voltage inside the control box using the multimeter in one of those clips that I just showed you, but yeah, there is a possibility that I didn't probe it properly because when I was probing the Y, just to make sure, 
uh, I really had to hold it at a very specific angle and maybe I missed that so it's, I'm not going to count that as just to contradict my theory so yeah only thing that I can think of at the moment is the aviation connectors that I'm using maybe, maybe that's not making proper contact and to rule that out I'm just going to wire everything directly to the duet using the same adapter cable etc as well and yeah test it out that way and if I can't figure out through that either well yeah I have no idea again so yeah I'll come back to you in a second okay guys I finally have a positive result I wired this to the X and as you can see the light is finally lighting up I haven't checked what the duet reads but it's probably working so yeah the answer is it looks like the aviation connectors on the back panel like these, these connectors and the other end of it these aren't making proper contact and yeah this cost me like $20 because I ordered replacement parts and a few weeks of times well not a few weeks so more than a week though of time so yeah the solution is I'm just going to temporarily wire it outside of the control box like directly going up there and yeah at some point when it comes time to the doing maintenance on the control box well at that time I'm going to deal with it and just replace the connector on the back panel I now solved the per problem permanently all that's left is mounting it and as you can see I made a new cable it's going into the control box over there and yeah the problem simply was that the little terminal blocks that I like to use these stuff while these work perfectly for like normal thickness wires like 22 gauges 24 gauges etc whatever gauge wire the sensors use it's way too thin and because of that it can have some issues as far as it looks like I've discovered so yeah I'm, I that's why I decided to make a new cable and properly soldered them and I'll go, I'm going to be installing this now to the machine as well I don't expect to have any other problems only issue is well, I'm going to have to route this externally because the drag chain is way too tight and yeah, installing this cable inside that drag chain would require a dismantle of the, the 3D printer. So I'm going to be temporarily mounting it directly and it looks like I'm going to move anyway. So when I move, I'm going to have to re re rebuild the printer anyway. And while doing that, I'm going to insert this in a drag chain. So yeah. Okay, I now have both of the end stops running and theoretically there should be nothing stopping me from making a test print, which I will see in a second. But I also want to show you what I had to do for the Y sensor. So I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up. I might focus in edit, but sorry, I might zoom in edit, but yeah, as you can see, there's that sensor and behind that you might notice that there are two knots. And the problem is the MJ12 H blocks that I'm using were hitting the stock end stops mounting plate, the plate that you mount the end stop to. And yeah, I had to space it out. Initially I used this drilled piece of plastic as a spacer, but this was too much. So I had to change that as well. And uh, because of the fact that I have to trigger off of that the knot under there the right next to the block you can see the where the end stop is sitting and I can't trigger off anything else because there isn't anything else metal and the sensor requires something metal and spacing it out more than it's supposed to it wasn't triggering so yeah anyway uh, it's just, it looks like it's working at the moment so it's actually time to test this on quite a few prints, in fact pretty much all of them uh, as you can see I'm experiencing a lot of layer shifts on the Y axis I did try to up the voltage on the Y motor but still it's not working so I don't know there's something wrong with the MGM 12 rail stuff at the moment I'll need to figure that out and yeah this is just a horrible failed print just showing you as an example how bad the layer shift is ok 
Okay, so what I did is I just reseated everything, changed the engine 12H blocks that I was using with spare ones, and obviously retightened the belt as well. And fingers crossed, so far I don't have any layer shift issues on the Y axis. But when I was disassembling, I've noticed that one of the steel balls on one of the MGN 12H blocks somehow came off. And I'm going to blame that block for the issue. I did put the steel ball back inside and hope probably that will work just fine as well. But, you know, I just changed it anyway. I, you know, I have those spares just in case I go with a bigger heat pad, which isn't the case at the moment. And two blocks is just fine. So. If I get any layer shift issues, I'll update you on this, but so far it looks like it's quite working. So, so it's now time to actually print the uh, adapter block for the X-axis, which I've designed and linked in the description below. So I designed a new part for the mounting of the MGN 12 rails on the X-axis. And as you can see, I'm nearly done with it printing right now. Unfortunately, I don't know exactly why I did have a ton of warping. I never really had a warping issue ever since I switched to this print pipe plus mat. So, yeah, I don't know what exactly caused this issue in this case. Hopefully, it's nothing permanent, but we will see. And yeah, at, as this part will be linked in the description below in case you need to use it, it will be on Thingiverse. But keep in mind that I haven't actually used this yet, and I will be using this in the next video. So, you know. If you are going to print this, make, su make sure and double check before actually dismantling your 3D printer or anything like that. And as I said, this will be installed in the next video. I was planning on installing it in this video, but I did run out of time, so unfortunately that will, be, that will have to wait till the next video. But yeah, hopefully this won't cause any more issues to me and I will be able to install this and see how the printer performs and we will also do some comparisons with it. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like down below and thanks for watching.